Hi everyone and welcome back to Stamp with Anna and today I'm going to show you another card uh, with a lined envelope that we made at class a while ago. And this one is, um, instead of making our own card, our own envelope, excuse me, we're using the Stampin' Up! envelopes. And you can see this is beautifully lined. It matches this card beautifully. Now, this is a little more tricky. <laughs> And I say that because the product I used to make this is no longer available, but there is hope. Stampin' Up! used to have this framelit set. It was called the Envelope Liner Set. And they discontinued it. They retired it a few years back. And the set came with these three dies. This large one here cut out a liner for the regular A2 card, which is four and a half, excuse me, four and a quarter by five and a half. This middle piece here cut out a liner for an envelope for the note cards, which is um, three and a half by five. And this last little one cut out an, a liner for a little three by three envelope. So you might say, what am I going to do? I don't have this set. Well, how am I going to make that? There is another, <coughs> excuse me, product that is in the annual catalog and it's this I don't know if you can see this here it's called beautiful layers thinlets and it coordinates with the um, petal promenade suite which is where these papers are from and you can see here on top of all of the other um, nice dies that you get there's this one die right here and that is what you can use to make the same cut. You can see that it looks like this. It doesn't have the whole body to it, but you would just cut this the size of your envelope and then run it through and you will end up with the same with the same um, result that I have here. And um, it, like I said, it's part of the Petal Promenade suite, so it coordinates with this beautiful promenade um, stamp set. So on top of getting that tool to make your envelope liner, you also get um, dies that die, that will cut out this beautiful flower, this little cluster, and these leaves, should you choose to go that way. It is a bundle, so it is 10% um, off. But I'm going to show you how I made it with my retired piece here. I have a piece of um, the designer series paper from the Petal Promenade and I'm going to die cut this. It's probably about six by six and a half. I cut it just a tiny bit bigger because I wanted it to um, to fit perfectly. Now the die that's in the current catalog, you saw that it only went up to here. When you were when you would run that through, you would cut your piece of paper as long as you want it to go. This this die here is going to go and fit my whole envelope, but you don't have to waste that paper. You could just cut yourself a piece that's like halfway down your envelope because um, don't you're not going to see it tucked in there. So I'm going to go cut this through my big shot. I'll be right back. Okay, and here is my cut liner. So what I'm going to do is bring in my envelope, and I'm going to tuck this in, and you can see it fits it fits very nicely. Now you do want to be mindful of your score lines on your envelope. I chose to line this up underneath the glue there. So I'm going to bend this over, and then I'm going to just add a little bit of nail. And there's my beautifully lined envelope. Really, really quick, quick and sweet. Now, what I did for the ladies at my class was I cut out a template for them on 110 pound cardstock so that what they could do when they need to make an envelope, um, a liner, is just put this on their designer series paper, trace it out, and simply cut it because they're pretty straight lines. So that's what I did um, with the ladies because they didn't have this, they couldn't uh, couldn't order this set. If you're anyway, so I'm going to put the card together now. And again, 
like I said in my last video, it's really not about the card. It was about the lined envelope. So, um, but I will tell you what I have here for supplies. I have a piece of Grapefruit Grove for my base. It's four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And then I have a piece of the Designer Series paper that matches my lining. And this is three and a half by five and a half. And then I have two strips of Whisper White. And these are five and a half by probably a quarter of an inch. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach those little strips along the sides. It's a little way to save um, save some paper. Instead of matting the whole thing, you're just going to mat. You're just going to uh, mat the edge of it, and it looks like it's a whole matted piece. So instead of using a whole piece of paper, you're just using two little strips. And I'm just going to line that up right there. Try to get that straight. And before I attach that to my card, I'm going to attach some ribbon. So with the, um, I think it was white organdy, this is I think the, the discontinued as well. But you know me, I use my discontinued ribbons. I'm going to attach this beautiful bow. It's so soft, I love this ribbon. I'm gonna attach that right there. And now I'm going to attach this to my base. And if anything shows up here, I'll just take my snips and cut that. So now I want to do the inside of my card. And I have a piece of Whisper White, which is four by five and a quarter. And I have another little strip of uh, Grapefruit Grove. This is four by probably an inch or so. And then another piece of that designer series paper, which is four by probably three quarters of an inch. Doesn't really matter what size um, you use it. It's all personal preference. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just line this up right here so that I have a very thin border. Oh, having a hard time there. Hold on one sec. Okay, and again, if I have anything that overhangs, I'm just going to take my snips and snip that off. And now a little bit of snail. Attach that there. And then off it goes. Oops, snip this off right here. it goes on the inside of my card and that just makes it all coordinate nicely see that that just adds another nice touch to it because the card is rather uh, ra rather plain and you could certainly um, stamp a sentiment and you know die cut it out and put it here but again like I said it wasn't about the card it was all about making the beautifully lined coordinating envelope and there we have it let's see where's the other one I made the two different colors. This one is more Calypso Coral and this one is Grapefruit Grove and equally as beautiful. So when these arrive in the mail, the recipient just thinks you went that extra step because the envelope is so beautifully lined. If you have any questions at all about this project or any of the products I used, please contact me through my blog at www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com.